Alright folks, in this video I'm going to be uh, giving you a basic tutorial of how to get PlayStation 4 Remote Play on your Android phone or your Shield tablet. The procedure is pretty much the same. So uh, before I start, I'm going to link the original tutorial which was posted by uh, Wesley32 on the XDA forums. And you guys, I'll put a link there. You guys can take a look at it if you want a more detailed step-by-step -step thing. So this is his tutorial, and I'm just going to be repeating what he said, and it's worked for me. So <clears throat> let's get right into it. So uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the uh, link, the link description, the description box, and download the files that are required. I'll post the links there, and um, make a folder on your um, device, on your Shield tablet, or your Android device on um, on the root the root menu so uh, so let's just go to home so um, this is my root menu I'm using file explorer since it's very easy you do need to be root, rooted to do this tutorial so uh, make sure you're rooted um, so let's get into the first step so you make a new folder and you transfer the files required so I'm gonna go into detail over here of the files required so you have two jar files which is the com dot playstation sorry com dot playstation certified jar and you also have a com playstation remote play, uh, remote play indent jar so those two jar files you put them in your new folder you also have two xml files one is playstation certified over here you can read it and one is remote play ident so you take both these xml files also put it in your new folder you download the remote play apk from the links also and put in a new folder and you have a dex file so there's only one dex file you can see it's the last one here pretty long data at uh, app at dot com at com playstation remote play that and so on and so forth so once you have that done <clears throat> um the first thing you want to do is you take the um remote play the remote play apk so that's what i'm going to do over here new folder uh, I'm using file manager because it's much easier to do this with this uh, program so you select it and you copy it and you click on the home button so this will bring you to your root menu but from the home button you keep pressing back because you want to go to your main root menu so once you keep pressing back you see that little slash up there when you see that slash that means you're on your base root menu so once you are there, you are going to take this and move it to your system folder. So you scroll down and you see system folder over there and you go to app, which is your app folder and you paste it. So you're going to click paste. There's an option to paste. You paste it. So once the pasting is done, you just go to the file, which will be, it'll be over here. See calm place your remote play and you hold it and it will give you um sorry i haven't activated that okay um i forgot one step make sure that you go to settings and in your file manager and you activate root explorer mount folder system mount system folder you need these activated in order to modify the permissions so let's get back there so once you're here you hold this and you go to the permissions and your setup should be this way so under read all of them should be clicked and under write you only one should be clicked so this is rwrr rw-rr -R. so this is the setup you want for this file keep in mind it's only for this file the one you have copied the playstation remote play apk so uh let's go back home and see what we're going to do with the next file so you go back to your new folder and the next one you are going to take the dex uh the dex file which is the last one over here this dex file so you're going to do the same thing you're going to hold it copy and go back 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 to your root folder and this time you're going to move this file into your data folder so let's go look at the data folder where is it and there it is it's the data folder and once you are there you're going to look for dalvik catch so it's over here d-a-l-v-i-k catch so you click on the dalvik catch and you are going to paste this file in here and once you have pasted this file so you're going to click paste i'm not going to do it because i've already pasted you're going to look for that file and it should be 
somewhere down here. Uh, yeah, there. So there it is. There's your file. You can see system app at complication. You're gonna hold it. Permissions, and you're gonna tick mark it exactly this way. The same setup. Read and write. Uh, so it'll be rw dash r dash r. All right. So now you go back to your home folder, and go to your new folder, and let's see what we're gonna do with the next file. Um, you are going to take your XML file. So you have two XML files, the Remote Play Ident XML file and the PlayStation Certified XML file. So you're going to take both these files so uh, you can copy and copy. You can do actually a multi-select. You click on multi. If, you know, this makes it easier. So you can select these two files and, you know, just copy them. I'm not going to do it because I already have that. So once you've taken those files, you're going to go back, 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 back to your main folder and this time you are going to go to system where is it there's your system folder as you can see over there you click on system and you are going to go to etc and all you need to after you reach a etc you're gonna to go to permissions so once you reach the permissions folder you're gonna paste just do a paste and your files will be there and once you have pasted your uh, file, you just go back, go down to where um, it is. You hold it again, go to permissions, same setup again. So read all check, write one check. So it's rwr dash r dash. Okay. You have to do this for both files. So the PlayStation Indent file as well. Let me just show it to you. All right. So it's there for both files. So now let's just go back to the new folder where we downloaded all our files. And now we're going to move our jar files. So we have two jar files, as you can see over here PlayStation certified and uh, remote indent jar. So we're going to select both those files. So you're going to select them by multi select, copy, and then go back, back, back to your root menu and we are going to move those in first we'll click on system and then we're going to click on framework and what you're going to do is you're going to paste your files here the two jar files are going to be pasted here and it's going to be the same step you go back down and find the place where you have copied those jar files so playstation certified.jar is over here click on permissions same same setup reads and writes rwrr so same thing and do the same thing with this one rwrr so and you're done basically you're pretty much done with the copying bits this was like the tricky bit so once you're done with this all you need to do is reboot your reboot your system and what you want to do is download the PlayStation app just type PlayStation app or PS app on the Google Play Store, download it and install it. So once you're installed, uh, maybe run it once. You don't really need to, I guess, but you can run it once. And then you want to go back to your folder. All right, yeah, go back to your root menu. So back, 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 back down to system. So over here, click on app and you see the file over there, the remote play, the one you copied, you click on that and install it. So it's a pretty simple procedure. You just click and you know, it's gonna let you install. And once you've installed it, all you have to do is go to your menu and you see the remote play button, click remote play. And um, this setup is pretty similar. As long as your PlayStation 4 is connected to your Wi-Fi router, uh, and your shield tablet or your Xperia phone is on the same router it should just pretty much find your system and uh, connect not going to be much of an issue there and there we go we're connected and uh, the keys work fine it's um, if you want to use your if you want to use your um, DualShock controller uh, right now the method I'm using is a bit tricky you just have to do a switch user you have to go to your system so let's just go there and you see the user thing over there you want to switch your user so you have your profiles uh, you want to switch your user and after you've connected switch your user 
So once you're connected, switch your user, and then you can play your games as another user and your controller is connected. Alternatively, you can also map your controls like a touchscreen controller because it has the keys. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'll probably make a separate tutorial for that. So if you have your uh, Adpega or something, you can map most of your keys uh, with Tin Core or whatever is your preferred mapper. So this concludes my tutorial for getting your um, PS4 to stream on your Shield tablet or your Android device. I hope it helps you. Uh, for more detailed instructions, look at the XDA links I've posted down there. And uh, as always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. Go ahead and comment, subscribe so I can make more of these videos. But as always, thank you for watching.